crossbody strike in hurling when you're striking from the hand can be can be fairly tricky for beginners and for new people learning and just striking from the hand in general, right? So, for example, if I'm right-handed, this is probably my more natural or open side, is my right side, okay? So that it's the open-faced side like that, okay? Then if I'm a, if I'm a katog, if I'm left-handed, this would be the more natural kind of open-sided strike that if I'm left-handed, it's my left side. If I'm right-handed, it'll be my right side. And then the difficulty starts coming in when you have to strike, because you know, to be the best hurler you can be, you need to be able to strike it on both sides, right side and left side. So the left side is where the kind of trickiness comes in and the problems come in as far as a right-handed striker would be concerned. One big mistake a lot of people make when they're learning is the position of the hurl in the beginning, right? Where they have the hurl kind of down here, okay? And the ball is, the slitter is thrown over their hurl and they end up kind of with a push strike where it's like more like a, a kind of a backhand and tennis stroke more than a hurling swing what we're trying to get is the hurling slip swing where the slitter leaves the hand under the hurl the hurl is up kind of like i'm holding an umbrella here look the hurl is up like this it's cocked up ready to go okay the toe is pointed in towards my head so it's not open open like that because we're not doing it again like i said we're not doing a tennis stroke the toe is pointed back in towards my head, okay? And I let go of the slitter and I strike, okay? And my elbows, my elbows cock a little, they twist across a little and my wrists engage and twist as well. And I'll have a few clips in slow motion where you can see it in better detail. But watch, where I let go of the slitter up under the hurl. So look, I don't have my hurl down here and I'm not popping the ball over and chasing it like tennis, a backhanded strike. What I'm looking for is a nice clean hurling swing where my wrists are engaged, my elbow gets cocked and I'm striking through the slitter, okay? So it's a strike, not a push, and it's the wrists and the elbow that will judge where it goes, okay? Now, when you're on the run, the elbows won't and shouldn't cock as much, right? It should be a nice tight strike in here, okay? That your elbow doesn't really cock up like this. This is kind of really for standing to strike so like a puck out or maybe even taking a free that you're getting your full range of power and motion into it so that the elbow really comes up high like that but when you're striking from on the run it'll probably be a nice little tight strike you know like they say hurling in a phone box and if you don't know what a phone box is go and google one so we're it's nice and tight the ball is popped up again look here's my starting position for the hurl it's not down here it's up here toe is pointed back in towards my ear kind of area and the slitter is being popped up under, my hands get back into lock, but all at the same time, I'm twisting and engaging my wrist, the elbow comes up a little bit, the rear elbow comes up a little bit, kind of like the chicken wing, right? That I've heard people use as well, which is a great way to describe it. But watch again, so I'll try and do it a little bit tighter and quicker so that the elbows don't expand as much, right? So I'm getting a nice little strike in like that, okay? So again, the slitter leaves your hand, wrists are twisting and you're striking okay we're trying to avoid this one where it's like a back or a backhand kind of push strike like tennis and that yes you might make the connection and yes it could go 40 50 yards but what we're looking to develop is that the best hurlers can hit it 60 70 80 90 yards right that's what we're looking to do off both sides so that you're engaging the wrists okay and the same then for the katog the crossbody will be the right sided strike that this it's the exact same technique the exact same pointers but just the opposite side because again look if you're left-handed this is your open side and then this is your closed side your crossbody one okay but it's the exact same pointers and all engage the wrists cock the elbow a bit but the hurl the starting position for the hurl has to be up here okay this is where your strike begins all right so it's not here all right and it's not down here that's not what we're looking for and we're trying to avoid the push where you're rotating the hips and shoulders and everything it should be very little body movement and it's all wrist action all right so hopefully that helps and i'll add in the slow motion videos where you can see it breaking down a little bit more and it should be clear all right
Mm. 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 Mm.